Hello students, this is Dr. Ankara, your chemistry mentor, welcoming you for another session in chemical bonding. So, today we are going to see about the shapes of molecules containing both bond pair and lone pair, that too based on VACPR theory, okay. So, the first molecule which we are going to see is ammonia, right. See, in the case of ammonia molecule, the central nitrogen atom, it has the atomic number 7 and its uh, electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p3 okay so that uh, p3 we can write as px 2px 2py 2pz okay so each one will be having one one electron right see out of this the five valence electrons if this possesses five valence electrons okay actually this nitrogen it possesses five valence electrons and of course among this five electrons it shares the three valence electrons with three hydrogen atoms okay can you understand so the nitrogen in ammonia it shares the three electrons with three hydrogen atoms okay so so it will be having three nh bonds okay this ammonia will be having three nh bonds after bond formation it has one lone pair of electron that is it will be having this 2s2 okay 2s2 this this will be existing as a lone pair Okay, so the three valence electrons, these three valence electrons, this will be combining with the three hydrogen atoms and it will be forming three bond pairs. Okay, it will be forming three bond pairs and this uh, 2s2 will be existing as a lone pair. It will not be involved in any bond formation. Okay, so thus in all ammonia molecule, this possesses one lone pair and three bond pairs of electrons. Can you understand? So, these four pairs of electrons, that is one lone pair and three bond pair of electrons, they will be repelling each other, okay. These uh, bond pairs and lone pairs, they will be repelling each other and form a tetrahedral shape, okay. So, this is forming a tetrahedral shape. Can you understand? So, the nitrogen atom lies at the center with three hydrogen atoms at the corners of a regular tetrahedron. So, fourth the corner of the tetrahedron is occupied by a lone pair of electrons, Okay. So, actually, this is not a normal tetrahedral. It is not a regular tetrahedral. Actually, it will be having a distorted structure. Okay. Why this ammonia is having a distorted structure? Let me explain on basis of VSEPR theory. Okay. See here, due to the presence of the normal tetrahedral angle is 109 degree 28 uh, minutes. Is it not? This is the uh, regular uh, this is the normal angle of a regular tetrahedron. But in the case of ammonia, it is only 107 degree. That means it is having a distorted structure. Okay, it is having a distorted structure. The reason why this ammonia molecule is having a distorted structure in our, instead of having a regular tetrahedron, let me explain. Okay, so due to the presence of lone pair of electrons on the central nitrogen atom, the tetrahedral geometry of the ammonia molecule gets slightly distorted. Okay, so according to this VSEPR theory, the lone pair uh, and the bond pair repulsion is more than the bond pair bond pair repulsion. Can you understand? So, as according to uh, this VSEPR theory, the lone pair bond pair repulsion will be more when compared to bond pair bond pair. Okay, bond pair bond pair repulsion. So, this is the major reason why this is having a, a distorted structure. So, what happens? The lone pair of electrons present on the nitrogen atom repels all the NH bond pairs strongly leading to the shrinkage of bond angle to 107 degree, uh, 7 degrees. Okay. So, uh, again I will explain. See, this lone pair of electrons as I told you always the repulsion between a lone pair and a bond pair will be very great when compared to a bond pair and a bond pair. Okay, so this is based on VACPR theory. This is what happening here. This lone pair of electrons, which is present on the central nitrogen atom, repels all the NH bond greatly or strongly. This leads to the shrinkage of the bond angle to 107 degree. So the shrinkage in the bond angle distorts this regular tetrahedral geometry. Okay, this is the reason. Can you understand? So, other example of this type are PCL3. See, PCL3 can also be explained uh, based on this. Then, H3O plus 
then nf3 all these comes under this uh, distorted structure can you understand next to the shape of water molecule okay see actually in the case of water molecule the central oxygen atom atomic number is 8 okay and its electronic configuration goes like this 1s2 2s2 2p x2 2p y1 2p z1 okay so this is the uh, electronic configuration and of course uh, this uh, possesses six uh, okay this possesses six valence electrons okay out of six valence electrons eight uh, shares two unpaired electrons okay this shares two unpaired electrons with the valence electrons of two hydrogen atoms can you understand so this two unpaired electrons are shared with hydrogen atoms can you understand it should be shared with the valence electrons of two hydrogen atoms okay resulting in the formation of two oh bonds okay so it will be forming two oh bonds thus the oxygen atom it possesses two bond pairs of electrons and two lone pairs of electrons can you understand these are lone pairs okay these are lone pairs and these two electrons they form two bond pairs okay let me explain with the help of a, a diagram okay see the structure of this uh, water molecule this oxygen atom it possesses two bo uh, lone pair of electrons and two bond pair of electrons okay so the two unpaired electrons will be forming with or these two unpaired electrons are shared with two hydrogen atoms and so that it is forming two OH bonds and these two OH bonds are they, they are formed by two bond pair of electrons and the remaining two paired electrons remains as a lone pair of electrons in oxygen okay so now what happens due, due to mutual repulsion so there are mutual repulsion will be taking place between the lone pair bond pair lone pair bond pair bond pair bond pair because of this it forms a, a normal tetrahedral geometry but what happens here in the case of water molecule the oxygen atom occupies the center and the two hydrogen atom occupies the two corners so, of a regular tetrahedron the two remaining corners of the tetrahedron occupies the two lone pairs okay. but actually this is not having a regular tetrahedron this water molecule is not having a regular tetrahedron but it is having a bent shape okay bent shape why so see here the two lone pairs of electrons present on the central oxygen atom strongly repels the OH bonds this will be repelling this OH bond and this will be repelling this OH bond since the lone pair bond pair repulsion since the lone pair bond pair repulsion is greater than the bond pair bond pair the repulsion the normal angle of 109 degree see normal regular tetrahedron will be having 109 degree 28 minutes as the angle okay instead of having 109 degrees this water molecule it is having a 104 degree 5 minutes okay so this is the normal angle of water molecule that is that this is having a distorted tetrahedral geometry distorted just like that of ammonia this is also having a distorted tetrahedral distorted tetrahedral geometry this geometry is also termed as a bent a bent okay bent shaped or angular 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 model okay so you know the reason why this water molecule is also having a distorted structure because of lone pair bond pair repulsion lone pair bond pair repulsion will be greater when compared to bond pair bond pair repulsion since we are having two lone pairs this lone pair will shrink this one and this lone pair will repel this one so automatically because of two repelling repulsion this bond and two bond pairs okay they come closer okay they are, it is a shrink this bond is shrink so automatically we are having a bond bent shape or an angular shape or a distorted tetrahedral geometry see other example of this type are h2s OF2, SCCl2. These are all other examples that are having a distorted tetrahedral geometry or a bent shape or an angular shape. Can you understand? Well, fine students, I hope you might have understood what I have taught today. Let me meet you with another important topic in my next session. Until then, it's Dr. Anitra, your chemistry mentor, signing off from you. Thanks for watching.